And we're back, and we're finally to the part that I promised about two, <laughs> two segments earlier. We're going to jump into some tips. This month's theme is blossoming in business. And so you've heard Adrian acknowledge that he is an owner of State Farm Agency. He's been in business for five years, 800 plus in his clientele. So I think that he certainly lived through several things that could allow him to give us some very valuable tips today. And so we're going to kind of start with some of the things you've shared with us here at the station, um, um, Adrian, and have you elaborate a bit on them. So one of the things that you talk about is cultivating a culture mm -hmm. of continuous learning and growing and mm -hmm. improving. And so when you say that is your tip number one, cu cultivating a culture of continuous learning and growing improvements. Are you talking about yourself, the business, the team that serves with you? Mm -hmm. When you're talking about cultivating this continuous growth and learning mm -hmm. improvement, what do you what do you mean by that? So I when I uh, talk about cultivating a continuous learning environment, I'm speaking more of my agency as a whole. And so mm -hmm. I have a team of five uh, right now in my mm -hmm. agency. And so it's not only for my agency. Five years, five employees. Five years, five employees, <laughs> yes. So I'll come and go, but that's part of business, right? <laughs> right, it is, it <laughs> is. So uh, I always seek to uh, improve myself in, in the industry. So I'm in the insurance and financial services. So I'm always seeking to improve myself. And that sets an example for my team, right? Because we want them to be not only licensed to handle uh, insurance and financial services, but also very knowledgeable and keep up to date because the industry changes. Insurance industry, just like any other industry, changes. Uh, there's rules and regulations that are changing. And so if you're not up to date with that, you can be left behind. And if you're left behind, you cannot mm -hmm. better serve your customers. And so I always seek to myself, make sure I'm involved in some type of continuing education or learning seminar. Uh, uh, or project and also bringing in other voices to speak to my my uh, employees other consultants that I uh, partner with or other successful agents are doing more than I'm doing and uh, can maybe sometimes your team kind of tunes you out because it's <laughs> right. like it's like your parents or you're growing right. up you kind of tune them out after right. a, a certain point in time but your grandparent or your aunt or uncle could come in and say something the same, same thing, thing and it's just received differently so yes. a lot of times I will invite in other successful agents or I'll have a consultant come in and always create an environment of where we're learning different uh, things about the industry. And then that helps us prepare for our customers because they have questions, right? They're uh, insecure about certain things or maybe they have uh, some needs that they uh, want to address. And so if my team is very well aware of the changes that are going on in the industry, yes. they can give them the best advice when they're talking to them. So I try to keep that uh, continuous education and the climate of we're, we've not arrived. We don't know it all. We don't, you know, right. it's because we're licensed professionals, yes, but our industry is changing so much that if you don't keep up in learning, that you can be left behind. So that's, I mean, uh, creating that atmosphere for not only my uh, my staff, but also for my customers. And so when they come in, that they are they able to uh, to uh, benefit from our, our knowledge. That's great. And so for any of you who are out there, I, I clearly hear Adrian said he's been in the business 29 years. Mm -hmm. Some people use those years as, as a validation of I, I know it all, I got it all. You, in fact, say the opposite. I've been in this a long time, mm -hmm. and so I realize that things are changing. They are not the same. And right. so I'm going to be very intentional about being relative, yes. about staying um, on top of new and innovative ways to yes. be. So that would be tip number one. If you want to see your business blossom, then make it a practice to cultivate a culture of continuously learning, yes. becoming better, be staying an expert in your field. Yes. Tip number two that you've mentioned is um, understanding the impact of, of capital access on your growth, on the, and the growth of your business. And if I was to just summarize that, that's a bit about having some sense of financial literacy, yes. knowing the importance of I don't know budgets and, and yes. good credit and the like. Yes. So give us more <laughs> give us more insight into that tip number two. Sure. So as I mentioned, I came into this with no business background, uh, not managed a team. So I was only responsible for me, myself, and I mm -hmm. when it came to finances. And so mm -hmm. now I find myself in this world where not only am I responsible for the health and well being, financial well being of my team. Yes. But also of my agency so that I can be able to be there for my customers. Yes. And so you have to as a business owner, whatever your business is, be able to learn how to manage. And it's okay if you you know, you're not there yet. That, that's yes. why I said it it's important that uh, you're open to education. But that includes 
you know, look, seeking out the help, seeking yes. someone out that is doing what you're trying to do or has been where you've been and, ha and knows the struggles, knows the yes. heartaches. We as business owners know the day-to-day -day, uh, heartache. And so my business, my biggest expense is my team. Yes. So you could imagine I have, I, I mentioned five employees. Imagine if I didn't manage finances well and they were not able to get paid. Yes. We would have a problem. We would have a problem. <laughs> have, they would yes. be looking at me and I would be looking at, you know, them. Looking at them <laughs> We don't know what's going to happen. And yes. so you have to be in a position to where you're growing, but growing at a steady pace and a, at a healthy pace. And what I mean yes. by that is I've seen so many just in my field and agents, their first year, first one or two years, spend all their money on, you know, infrastructure, you know, these big fancy buildings or just on uh your inventory, you know, they have to have the nicest of furniture and, you know, it has to look pristine. Uh, there's some things that I'm, I still desire to buy for my office physically, right. but you have to recognize what's most important. That's good. And don't t t don't go into business or be in business and thinking you have to spend it all right now. That's Think good. Think profit first, right? Profit that's first. Good. Especially profit if you first. Have, yes. And especially if you have uh, someone that's depending on you uh, for, for salary, your employees and so forth. You don't want to ever not be able to pay them. You want to be able to keep the lights on. Yes. You want to be able to answer the phones when your yes. customers call. Uh, yes. You know, so it, having that stewardship over your finances is very important. Yes, Adrian, if I were to summarize and glean like a, mm -hmm. a I guess a, a status or priority list there, I, I hear you saying mm -hmm. profit, yes. <laughs> paycheck, yes. preferences. Yes. Because yes. that, right, like that's that. what I hear yes. you saying. Profit. Yes. You need the profit so yes. that you can do the paychecks that's for it. yourself, for your employees. That's right. And preferences is in the last place. It's yes. just the stuff that I just I just want. And when right. I hear that, mm -hmm. that's applicable like anywhere. Right. That in any component of, of your life at right. home. You need to pay the pay the light bills, right. the main stuff, the priorities, exactly. right? And preferences needing a new landscape or something right. like that can be last. So Definitely, for those of you who are trying to do your business, being able to to um, to just prioritize, yes. prioritize yes. where your money is going. Yes. We're going to go ahead and roll out into com commercial break, and we'll come right back with our final tip, which will deal with something I certainly believe in. It's that relational dynamic, strategic mm -hmm. partnerships. We'll talk a bit about that, and then Adrian will have you give us a, a sign off of your business and all things that that will allow people to circle back, mm -hmm. maybe follow you, okay. become a customer, whatever right, that looks right, like right. for you. So so y'all keep it right here on the amazing 102.5 FM. We'll be right back with more from The Lift, our place to inspire and empower you. See you in a moment.